the choice is, is very simple for me. Suicide or psychedelics. Dan suffers from one of the most painful afflictions known to humankind, cluster headaches. The headaches afflict around one in a thousand people, and men are more prone than women. These can't be compared with a, a headache or a head attack. The cause of the condition remains unknown. Oxygen can sometimes abort the attacks, but if that fails, sufferers face a bout of excruciating pain that can last for up to three hours. It feels like a hot dagger is being poked through one's eye all the way through one's brain. It's just devastating to see someone in that much pain and there's nothing that I can do for him. There was one occasion that I was laying in bed knowing that I was going to end it and I was trying to picture the last time I saw my kids and that was a, that was a bad day. I was try, trying to figure out what I was going to wear when I, when I put a bullet in my head. That was a bad day. With Dan on the verge of suicide and the family in crisis, Leanne made a life-saving discovery. I read on one of the cluster headache sites about people using mushrooms and at first I thought it was really kind of strange but at that point nothing else seemed to be working so I thought it was worth giving it a try. It was the best medicine we ever found. This natural fungi contains powerful psychoactive compounds and has been inducing mind-bending psychedelic trips in users for thousands of years. Unwilling to buy from illicit drug dealers, Dan grows his own magic mushrooms. Here's the medicine chest. Where the magic happens. Dan has to grow his magic mushrooms in the right environment. I've got to keep the humidity at 99 percent. Keep the temperature at 75 degrees. And voila, there are mushrooms. Once I pick the mushrooms, I bring them in here, put them under a ceiling fan, let them air dry for 24 hours. Once they're cracker dry, they're good to, for storage for a year or two. That's two years of pain-free living right there. It's homegrown. Some people have the stomach to just take them like they are. But capsules, it's better on the stomach and a lot easier on nausea and then easier to, to get down. He had lost his passion for all of the things that he used to love. Um, and if you say, my dad's taking mushrooms to save his life. A majority would just say, that's ridiculous. They wouldn't believe it. If Dan, like other cluster headache sufferers across America, fails to take the mushrooms every two months, the unbearable cluster headaches return. 